Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Ziggurat. Now, Ziggurat was one of the earliest games that I had on my channel, and now I have returned to it. Um, I thought I'd do a couple of episodes to see how people found it. It's very similar to Immortal Redneck, which is something that's just been released, but in my personal opinion, I found Ziggurat a lot more enjoyable, so I thought I'd come back and sew it off. You have multiple different classes to choose from. As you can see, we have Karina, Argo, Kraz. Um, basically, you went through... The way this game works, you get XP, you get items, you unlock new stuff. It's very much a roguelike suitor, and it's one of my favourite games. One of the reasons I stopped putting it on my channel, however, was that it had a rather large file size, which meant that I could spend up to 10 hours uploading a single episode. So let's just choose character, main character, balance stats without particular strength weaknesses. Karina is an apprentice who has done her home homework diligently. Um, novice, very powerful magical one skills. Well, let's go with the standard. Let's we'll go with Argo. Hall of Despair, floor one. Let's go. Now the game works like this. You. As you can see, you move, you aim, you shoot. Um, each weapon, besides your specialist weapon, each weapon will have a particular mana pool set. You have the map here, which is all very nice and nice and dandy. You can sprint, you can jump, and we'll get into it. Stuff regens up, that's our mana pool on the bottom right, and our health on the bottom left. We have to find a key, fight the boss, and proceed. Every floor we'll have stuff to fight, as you can see. Uh oh, magical cut. Uh oh, we got magical, magical um, vegetables trying to eat us. Uh, it's a hectic game. You get different enemy types. Most spells will have. Um, most spells will. Oh, there's another one. Uh, it's invisible. That was why. Most spells will have. Um, alternative fire modes. As you can see I have a um, spread shot and a single rapid fire shot. My health took a bit of a beating. You pick up um, experience gems which fill up in the bottom of the screen. You also pick up um, different kinds of mana crystals which you use for different kinds of attacks. Ooh, a big room. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. Ooh, that's not good. I can't see what we're facing. Oh, it's skulls. I'm sorry if I'm going to be a bit rusty with this, I haven't played in a while. There you go, some XP, some extra mana. Let's just try and get these guys down. You can ooh, and, ooh, and there's invisible ones as well. You get different stuff. You get different, um... I suppose, suppose you could sort of say floor rules, as it were. For example, you can have a floor where the enemies can only be killed in a certain order. You can have a floor where um, only certain damage will affect them. Ooh, we've reached level 2. Let's whip out the shotgun. As you can see, the shotgun does stuff like um, spread shot damage and all this kind of nifty nifty stuff. Which is always very nice. I do like this game has a nice aesthetic, nice playing style, our character's leveled up. And what you do is you get basic cards. Every time you level up your you get cards, for example, you hit harder when your health is below 25%. You now gain more experience. Let's go getting more experience. You can um, smash open crates, you can do this and that. It's a very nice game. I like it a lot. I'm not going to hang around the floors for too long because I'm I'm limited to be buying to the length of video I can do to this about for about 20 minutes at most. So let's jump in here and let's see if we can find the boss key. Who are we facing? Ooh, these guys. You've got to hate fungoids. Ooh, and it's uh oh. And we've got evil turkeys. Evil turkeys. Be wary of the evil turkeys. Time to rip out the shotgun. There's one behind us as well. Ugh, and they home. 
go back and wait for Thanksgiving. Ugh. I'd forgotten these things honed. Have to keep moving. Evil, evil blighters. Grab the health potion. I do like this game. I've seen like gameplay of uh, Immortal Redneck, and I I prefer this. I like the fantasy element to it. And I know people said, oh, there's no like kickback to the weapons, but I was never one that really cared for like kickback on on weapons. It's like, you, did you have kickback in weapons in Doom? No. Oh, we got banshees. Surprise, Manchies. Oh yeah, there's also you also get bosses. Each floor will have basically a floor boss that you have to clear. In some ways it's very similar to Isaac. Oh somebody's trying to kill me. To the binding of Isaac in some ways. It has uh it has it's just a really nice game. I think it was massively under underrated. And I just brought it back because I thought I'd sew it off. Got to level 3. Let's level up. Mana gems give you more energy, that's always nice. There's also all kinds of things in here, like um, you can sacrifice stuff to gods, and there's, they give you favours, and. Ooh, here it is. I wonder. I wondered if that was a secret room or not. Hmm. You got the portal key, so now we just need to find the boss. Let's sprint. Now let's see if we can find our boss. Ooh, it's a treasure room. It's this is one one of the altars that I told you about. You can pray to gods. You don't have enough mana for this. Get closer to um to get closer to to the offer twenty five health to the elder gods that would increase our health by the way, get closer to the prayer of the elder gods without offering anything. Uh, let's give a bit of health. Divine punishment decrease attack rate. What we got punished? Oh you, you. Had to fix that. Divine indifference during next combat items are more effective, but they are also less durable. Right, okay. Oh, that didn't go particularly well. Important lesson, folks. Never trust gods to have you back. Let's see if we can find... Ooh. This is probably... I don't know if this will lead us... I'm trying to figure out where the boss room is, because we have the key, so we can, if we want to, progress down to the next level. So let's sprint back here and try and see if we can find the boss monster. Our health is a bit low. We haven't got that much here. Here he is. No, this is a trap room. You also get trap rooms from time to time which allow you to try and get really cool magical items but they require you to have a bit of common sense. Oh. See, I haven't got much common sense. Isn't this just pretty? Oh, taking really bad damage. I hope this item is worth it. Ugh, okay. Whew. Well, here's the item in question. And we got Cheetah Amulet. Greatly increases your speed when active. And you press E to activate the ability. Lost quite a bit of health doing that, so it may not be worth it. So, where's the boss? The boss is going to be in the big room. Let's dart back this way. Sprinting. Like the cheetah. No, we don't have the amulet on, so don't worry about it. 
we got to use it if we really need to keep it out of the way of the boss. Let's get this over with. Uh, it's these turkeys. Oh, it's a jumping variety. Need that health. Get away. Serpentine. Serpentine. Oh, come on, I got stuck on terrain. Oh. Stop going for me. Serpentine. Need health, need health, need health. Sort of picked up the stupid leveling that gave me more health. Don't remember the turkeys being this nasty. Uh, and they're spawning more of them. Come on. Oh, no! I'm gonna get eaten. Is this the revenge for all those Christmas dinners? If only he had another weapon. Need health. Really bad. I doubt we'll be able to beat the boss at this rate. You good old flaming skulls. The staple of any good D&D universe, or fantasy universe. Man, that was nasty. And apparently there's no health in here. And I didn't check my map because I was a silly fool and I forgot that there was a way out here. So let's start down here quickly. Gonna try and get to the part through this first level. Let's give you a general feeling of what this game's about. I'm probably going to die, to be honest. Well, there's the boss, but we've got so little health, I doubt we'll be able to beat him easily. Oh, it's the skull. Yeah, so Arthur, the Eternal Warrior. He's a pain. Because, as you can see, I haven't got much health. Yeah, I've got 16 health, 14 health. Uh, maybe if I can try and kill some of his minions, he might drop some health. Bad mistake, Cornish. Bad mistake. Um, yeah, I died. You were too young to die. Not too rough. And we add ourselves to the bone pit. And as you see, we, we can get extra stuff. We get... There are like lots of items. I haven't unlocked that many. A lot of items. And there's a lot of like... Beastry, Hall of Fame, Credits, Library, whole kinds of stuff. But for there, I think we just sort of leave it. I, um, I will be doing another episode of this. I'm going to bring it back to sort of let me know what you guys think of it. I really enjoy Ziggurat. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below or press the like and subscribe button if you enjoy. Or leave a comment on Twitch. I really enjoy Ziggurat. So it's been a while since I've last played, so I'm a bit rusty. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.